This channel presents scientifically based rankings for life. Good morning, everyone. It's a pleasure to be here today to discuss a topic close to my heart, ultimate happiness. Top 5 Rules for a Radiant Life As we embark on this journey, I invite you to open your minds to new perspectives on happiness and well-being. Fifth Rule, Cultivating Gratitude Cultivating gratitude, our fifth rule for a radiant life, is more than just saying, thank you. It's about a fundamental shift in our perspective towards life. Scientific evidence backs up its profound impact on our well-being. A seminal study by Dr. Robert Emmons at UC Davis and Dr. Michael McCullough at the University of Miami uncovered something remarkable. They asked participants to write a few sentences each week, focusing on particular topics. One group wrote about things they were grateful for, another about daily irritations, and the third about events that had affected them, with no emphasis on positive or negative. The results? Those who wrote about gratitude were more optimistic and felt better about their lives. Surprisingly, they also exercised more and had fewer visits to physicians than those who focused on sources of aggravation. Another study at the University of Pennsylvania by Dr. Martin Seligman, a pioneer in the field of positive psychology, tested the impact of various positive psychology interventions on 411 people. When participants wrote and personally delivered a letter of gratitude to someone who had never been properly thanked for their kindness, they immediately exhibited a significant increase in happiness scores. This impact was greater than that from any other intervention, with benefits lasting for a month. These studies reveal an essential truth. Gratitude can profoundly impact our mental health, leading to increased well-being and happiness. When we regularly acknowledge the goodness in our lives, the source of that goodness external to ourselves, we establish a worldview that appreciates the interconnectedness of all things and the part we play in the wider universe. So, let's embrace gratitude not just as an emotional response but as a daily practice, a habit that shapes our perception and interactions with the world around us. Fourth Rule, Engaging in Physical Activity Moving on to the fourth rule for a radiant life, engaging in physical activity. This isn't just about losing weight or building muscle, it's about nurturing our mental health and overall well-being. The link between physical activity and happiness is robust, supported by numerous scientific studies. One pivotal study by the Harvard T.H. Chan School of Public Health found that running for 15 minutes a day or walking for an hour reduces the risk of major depression by 26%. Additionally, maintaining an exercise schedule can prevent individuals from relapsing into depression. Exercise acts as a powerful antidepressant. It's natural and without the side effects of medication. The science behind this is fascinating. Physical activity stimulates the release of dopamine, norepinephrine, and serotonin. These brain chemicals play an important part in regulating your mood. For example, regular exercise has been shown to reduce symptoms in people suffering from anxiety. When you exercise, your brain's stress hormones, adrenaline and cortisol, decrease, while endorphins, natural painkillers and mood elevators, increase. Beyond the biochemical impacts, exercise can enhance our well-being in other ways. It boosts self-esteem, increases social interaction, and provides a coping strategy for stress and anxiety. A study published in the Lancet Psychiatry Journal found that individuals who exercised had 43% fewer days of poor mental health compared to those who didn't exercise. The beauty of this rule lies in its simplicity. You don't need to be a marathon runner or a gym fanatic. It's about finding an activity that you enjoy, whether that's walking, cycling, swimming, yoga, or team sports, and making it a part of your regular routine. As we engage in physical activity, we don't just improve our physical fitness, we create a foundation for a happier, more balanced life. Third Rule, Lifelong Learning and Curiosity. Let's now explore the third rule for a radiant life, lifelong learning and curiosity. This principle is about continuously stimulating our minds, seeking new knowledge, and nurturing our natural curiosity. This isn't just about academic learning, it's about embracing a mindset of growth and exploration throughout life. The science supporting the benefits of lifelong learning is substantial. 
A study from the University of London showed that educational and intellectual activities enhance cognitive reserve. This means they help the brain strengthen its ability to cope with disease. People who engage in more learning activities have better mental functioning in old age. Another aspect is the link between learning and mental well-being. A study published in the Review of General Psychology found that people who have strong curiosity traits experienced frequent flow or immersion in tasks, which is associated with high levels of personal growth, happiness, and psychological health. When we learn new things, we not only acquire new knowledge but also improve our problem-solving skills, creativity, and resilience. Moreover, lifelong learning fosters a sense of purpose and self-efficacy. The Rush Memory and Aging Project, conducted by researchers at the Rush University Medical Center in Chicago, found that people who engaged in mentally stimulating activities had a slower rate of decline in memory and other cognitive functions. This demonstrates that engaging our minds actively has a protective effect on our cognitive health. It's important to emphasize that lifelong learning isn't confined to formal education. It could be as simple as learning a new skill, picking up a hobby, reading books, exploring new cultures, or even engaging in stimulating conversations. The key is to maintain curiosity and a love for learning. By embracing lifelong learning, we enrich our lives, keep our brains healthy and active, and enhance our overall happiness. Second rule, fostering relationships. Next, let's delve into the second rule for a radiant life, fostering relationships. This rule emphasizes the importance of building and maintaining strong, healthy relationships with friends, family, and colleagues. The impact of social connections on our happiness and well-being is profound and well-documented in scientific research. Harvard University conducted one of the longest-running studies on adult development, spanning over 80 years. This study conclusively found that close relationships are what keep people happy throughout their lives. These relationships protect people from life's discontents, help to delay mental and physical decline, and are better predictors of long and happy lives than social class, IQ, or even genes. Another significant piece of research by Julianne Holt Lundstad from Brigham Young University demonstrates the importance of relationships for our health. Her research found that lack of strong relationships increased the risk of premature death from all causes by 50%, an effect comparable to smoking up to 15 cigarettes a day. These studies highlight that it's not just the number of friends you have, and it's not whether or not you're in a committed relationship, but it's the quality of your close relationships that matters. It's about the depth and meaningfulness of these connections. Good, close relationships seem to buffer us from the problems of life. They also help to strengthen our mental and emotional well-being. Moreover, relationships provide a sense of belonging and purpose, offer emotional support, reduce stress, and promote a sense of self-worth and belonging. Nurturing our relationships involves active communication, empathy, trust, and spending quality time with those we care about. So, the takeaway is clear. Invest in your relationships. Reach out to friends, spend quality time with family, and nurture your connections. In the grand scheme, it's not just about pursuing success or personal achievement. It's about fostering these relationships that truly enrich our lives and lead to enduring happiness. First rule, purpose and meaning. Finally, we arrive at the most pivotal rule for achieving a radiant life, finding purpose and meaning. This rule isn't about chasing external achievements or accolades. It's about discovering a deep sense of fulfillment in our actions and contributions to the world. It's about aligning our daily activities with our inner values and passions. The significance of having a purpose in life is well supported by scientific research. A study led by researchers at Stanford University found that individuals who feel their lives have a clear purpose or meaning experience better mental and physical health compared to those who don't. They enjoy higher levels of psychological well-being, lower levels of neuroticism, and more satisfying personal relationships. Another research from the University of Michigan's Health and Retirement Study, which followed over 7,000 individuals over 14 years, found that those with a high sense of purpose had a significantly lower risk of death, less cardiovascular events, and better cognitive functioning. This sense of purpose doesn't just help us live longer, it helps us live better. 
Having a purpose in life is linked with a range of health benefits, including better sleep, fewer strokes and heart attacks, and a lower risk of dementia, disability, and premature death. It's also associated with enhanced resilience, decreased risk of depression, and increased levels of satisfaction, well-being, and happiness. But how do we find our purpose? It's not always clear-cut. It involves self-reflection, understanding what we value most, and recognizing our strengths and passions. For some, purpose is found in their careers or artistic expression. For others, it's in volunteer work or family. The key is to engage in activities that feel meaningful and contribute to the greater good. Finding purpose and meaning in our lives is not a luxury. It's a fundamental component of our well-being. It guides us in our decisions, shapes our goals, and gives us a sense of direction and fulfillment. As we align our actions with our personal values, we not only enrich our own lives but also contribute positively to those around us. Conclusion To conclude, happiness isn't just a fleeting emotion. It's a state we can actively cultivate through these five rules. As we step out today, let's remember to practice gratitude, stay active, keep learning, nurture our relationships, and seek purpose in our lives. Thank you for joining me in this enlightening journey towards a radiant life. Stay curious, stay connected, and above all, stay happy. Thanks for watching. See you again.